Good morning, welcome to another Fish Tales video. We are on Lake Michigan again. Another cold morning, late January. Got the two triple threat lure spoons on each side of me. So hoping to catch some brown trout. It's a beautiful morning, absolutely no wind. It actually says calm on the forecast. Very rare opportunity to get out here and have it be glass calm. So I'm gonna try some shallower water and outside of the harbor as well as in and around. Let's see what is biting today and catch some fish. We are in the water, got the black skeleton glow from triple threat lures. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one out on the right side. A little quarter ounce weight, not too far back, maybe another 10 feet, and we're ready. One rod in. And the second spoon from triple threat lures I'm gonna throw on is this really cool Wonder Bread pattern with a ton of just sparkle and some glow on it, as well as a really neat chartreuse back. So hopefully that pops in this dark water and gets these fish to bite on this nice and early in the morning before they get too smart and gets too bright out. All right, drag set, dropped it back. I'm gonna put a one ounce weight on this one and drop it down a little deeper than the spoon on my right side. All right, we're in, we're off. Let's do it. There's a big mark right there. I'm gonna cast out the front of this boat a little bit with this Nishini jerkbait and see if we can pick something up while we're trolling these two spoons. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Fish, fish, yes. First fish, that was super fast. No planer boards, just straight behind the boat. There we go. Uh, what do we got here? Got some big head shakes. See if we can get this weight off. That's just a little quarter ounce weight too. Nothing to it. There he is. Guessing we got a brownie. Oh, brown trout. Get in the net. Get in. Sweet. Nice pretty female brown right there. Probably only five feet under the surface. Look at that. Nice pretty brown trout to start the day off on that cool black skeleton colored triple threat lure spoon. And this nice little female Eat that up 10 minutes into the morning. Let's get her in the water. Go catch some more. She wants out of here. See ya. Two rods in and we're back in business. Try to get it out within the week. Watch the other one yesterday. Oh, nice. You know, it's self beer. They're hammering the hell out of them out there. Okay, sounds good. You heard the local expert, South Pier. I'm gonna make a turn here and work my way out there and hopefully sink the boat with the uh, fish that's so big it just can't even keep the kayak afloat. Let's go see what happens. We got a ton of fishermen out. We got about eight along this wall. Another six on the South Pier. I'm counting like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the North Wall. And you got a couple boats in here doing laps. They're here for a reason. These waters are filled with fish. Let's go. Can't tell if we got a fish on. It is barely fighting, but we might have something. Or garbage. Can't tell. Nope, we got garbage. Big old stick. All right, quick release. Back at it. Oh, we got something right here. Definitely got a fish, second one, here we go. Look at all that bait too. Five, 10 feet below, these fish are in here. All right, let's see if we can get this off. Planter board off, quarter ounce weight off, iceberg ahead of the boat, fish just surfaced right there, wow. Oh, he's gonna hit the iceberg. <laughs> Look at him. Come on in. Oh, 
And number two, two for two, not missing too many today. Nice, easy de-hooking here. Number two, looking for bigger ones. We'll send them back in. See ya. Oop, here we go. There's a fish. Got something. Bring this in. All right, that's in. Not pulling drag, but definitely passed by so much bait fish and other things that something was bound to hit the hooks of this spoon, hopefully in the mouth. Got the planer board in. Next is that snap-on weight, which is always loving to fly around. Got that. Now, do we have a fish? That's the question. Well, it feels heavier than a spoon, so that's good. We know it's more than a half ounce. Yep. Now he wants to fight. <laughs> he is fighting harder now. There he is. Beautiful looking fish. I thought he was maybe twice the size of the spoon for a while, but... <laughs> Big guy now. Come on. Let's go. Nailed him. In the net. Sweet. Another chunky brown. A little bigger than the second one, a little smaller than the first one. We're getting them all sizes today. He wants back. Let's let him back. See ya. Got a fish surfacing right in front of the boat. They're so high in the water column. Yep, there's it, right there. Oh, and it, look at that. Oh my gosh, he thinks he's still hooked. <laughs> right after I saw him, either broke me off or something, but I know he's off. Yeah, broke me off, wow. How the heck did that happen? Gosh. There we go. Same spot as last time. Get in here. We're hooked up four for four on the same spoon. They do not want anything else from me. You can see the snap-on weight I have is just eight feet behind the planer board, so we're talking maybe three feet below the surface. Get in here, he's a fighter. Look at him. <laughs> that is so much fun out here. Late January and these fish are biting. Just doesn't want to give up. And he's in the net. Look at the colors on that guy. Very bright, happy. Good fighting fish. And there he is, in the water. Well, it's been kind of slow the last half hour, not a single hit, and I'm curious what the temperatures are. We're outside of the harbor just a little bit. This is just a super cool, handy device. Fishhawk TD will give you the temperature at all the different depths. So we're in 35 feet of water. You can see the bait fish are kind of hovering down now in 20 feet or below, which was a lot different than earlier today. So we'll go ahead and hit start. Wait till it says ready, and now I'm going to drop it down, and it's going to record those temperatures at five foot increments until it gets to the bottom. So now, got to be getting close to the bottom. It's only 35 feet. There we are. I'm going to bring it back up. Well, let's see what kind of temperature breaks we got. And this might give an idea of what depth I'm going to be running my spoons through now that the sun's up and temperatures are changing a little bit. So interesting, the temperature shot up and you can see as it's going down 20, 25, 30, but you get down to 30, there's like a warm patch and that's right around where the bait was. So I'm gonna actually run this one deeper than I was before and see if I can get hooked up on the left side. Hopefully 
That might be the ticket. I don't know. There's some weight on here. Let's see what's going on. Weeds, maybe? Is that a fish? What do we got here? We got a fish. I could not tell, but we'll take it. Little guy didn't know he's hooked. Planer board didn't quite feel the weight, but not bad. He's got some marks on his head there. Another nice little brown. And in you go. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Thought we were done for the day. Nice. And we got one in the marina. Sweet. Thought we were done. Oh, nice jump. He is a jumper. Love it. And he's got one on the shore right there. They started to bite right at the same time. They're all turning on. Look at that. <laughs> he knows he's hooked now. Knows he's hooked. Another brown trout to add to the list. But an average size. And there is number six. What a fun day today. Letting them all go to swim and be caught another day. 